my name is Max Komichev Zemlov. I am the founder of Maximus Energy Corporation. And today I'm going to show you how to use Neutron Light Turnkey Neutron Detection System. Right from the box, Neutron Light comes with these components. The main component is MCA Light Multi-Channel Analyzer, the Helium-3 Neutron Detector, USB cable and the SHV cable to connect the MCA to the detector and the USB key with software. The first step is to install the software. First we must install Piper SDK. Be sure you're using 64-bit version of Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11 or actually any other 60-bit version of Windows. So once the Piper SDK is installed, we need to copy the pulse counter folder from the flash drive somewhere on your computer. At this stage, pulse counter software is ready to run and we can launch it by clicking on pulse counter exe. So the first step is to connect neutron detector to the MCA. So I'm going to do this using the supplied SHV cable. Then I'm going to connect the MCA to a USB port on my laptop. So the only requirement is it has to be a high-speed USB 3.0 port so it could provide sufficient current to power the MCA. Alright, now we can run the pulse counter software. Right from the get-go, the pulse counter software comes already configured for neutron detection. You don't need to change a preset or modify anything. Simply click the start button and you're good to go. Now if you have a neutron source present, you will see Pulse Counter software building a perfect thermal neutron spectrum. To complete the measurement, click stop or let the time of the measurement run out. When counting neutrons, you might need to use a moderator. So out here I have a high density polyethylene or HDP block that I use to moderate neutrons. This is something that doesn't come with neutron light. This is something that you would need to make yourself or build for whatever experiment you are going to run. So this particular uh, moderator block has a center hole for the detector and it has this side pocket that houses neutron source. So this is the Czech neutron source that I use. It's a polonium beryllium 5 millicurie source. So this is the source with the beryllium window over it. And this is what I use to place inside my moderator to create a neutron flux sufficient to calibrate the neutron detector. And if you're interested to learn more about the source, you can read the article about polonium beryllium Czech source on my blog. The pulse counter software has the following features. So on the main screen, you see uh, the detector pulse in real time. So each neutron produces a pulse on the detector and that pulse that is shaped for pulse processing is displayed by pulse counter in real time. To the right, you have a pulse height spectrum, which gradually builds up as you acquire uh, counts from the neutron detector. Below, you have a count rate history. Because uh, all nuclear processes are random in nature, count rate fluctuates uh, obeying the Poisson distribution. And to the right you have current count rate, mean count rate, standard deviation and total counts. If you go to the tabs you see the expanded view of the of the shape detector pulse, you see the expanded view of the thermal neutron spectrum. Uh, on the calibration window you can set the thermal neutron energy and make it match the main peak of the spectrum. You also have a pulse height uh, count rate history. Count rate histogram, 
rice time histogram, pulse width histogram. And finally, uh, you can modify the preset. But as I said, generally you don't need to do it because the software comes already configured for the detector that you purchased. But if you would like to tweak the preset, you certainly can do it. And to learn more about the preset, I refer you to the pulse counter manual that is included on the flash drive that comes with the Neutron uh, light. And it's also available for download from the Maximus the Energy website. As you can see, Neutron light system is easy to use. You can order your own at my website, maximus.energy. Thank you.